Weighted moving average is one form of moving average that is used to smooth out time series data with an aim to decrease the effects of random short term fluctuations and to find out the pattern and trends in the data more easily. Weighted moving average WMA assumes that the current data points are more prominent since they are more relevant than earlier data points. For example, for a 3 point WMA, the earliest data gets the lowest weight, while the second one gets a higher value like 0.3, the recent data gets the highest like 0.5. The important point is that the sum of weights should be equal to 1. Once the weights are distributed, all you need to do is multiply the data with corresponding weight and add the results. A common way to calculate weights is to use consecutive numbers starting from 1. Divide each number by the sum of numbers to find each number's percentage value. That will indicate how much the number is important or relevant in calculating the weighted moving average WMA. For example, to calculate 3 point moving average number of data points is 3. Use this formula to calculate the sum of numbers of data points. For example, use this formula to calculate the weighted moving average over 3 data points. The sum will be 6. The weight for first data point equal to n minus 2 by sum equal to 0 0.17. The weight for second data point equal to n minus 1 by sum equal to 0.33. For data point 3, the weight equal to n by sum, which is equal to 0 0.5. The sum of the weights should be equal to 1 or 100%. We have 12 day weather forecasting data. Let's calculate the 3 day weighted moving average. Since we are calculating a 3 point weighted moving average, calculate from the third point, that is day 3 in this case. This is because it's a 3 point moving average and needs at least 3 data points to give the first result. So the actual moving average values start at the third data point onwards. Multiply the temperature in column B by the corresponding weights and then add the resulting values. Use this formula. The calculated weights for 3 points are in G9 to G11. Use absolute reference for weights and relative reference for temperature. Copy the formula down. The range changes at each row to include the values needed for each average. Moving weighted average is calculated for the other days. You can generate the weights easily using the sequence function. The sequence function will generate an array of sequential numbers from 1 to entered value which is number of data points in this case. The returned array is divided by sum of number of data points to return an array of weights. Use this formula to calculate the weighted average. The array of weights is created using the sequence function and passed to the sum function. We can also use the sum product function to calculate the weighted moving average. Use this formula. Sum product function multiplies the first element of the first array with the first element of the second array. Then it multiplies the second element of the first array with the second element of the second array and so on. Finally, it adds all these values. This formula returns the weighted moving average for day 3. Copy the formula down to calculate WMA for other days. A more flexible way to calculate a weighted moving average is with the offset function. Create a dynamic range using offset function. The general formula is where n is the number of data points to be included in the average. Use this formula to find the weighted moving average for variable periods. Enter the number of days in H6. Offset returns a range which is passed to the sum product function. Starting at cell B4, offset constructs a range that extends back to previous rows. This is accomplished by using a height equal to negative n. Copy the formula down to calculate WMA for other days. Copy the formula to day 1 and 2. The first formula won't have enough data to calculate a complete average because the range will extend above the first row of data. For example, for day 1, offset returns B1 to B2. 
This may or may not be an issue depending on the structure of the worksheet and whether it's important that all averages are based on the same number of values. The sum product function will automatically ignore text values and empty cells, so it will continue to calculate an average with fewer values. As periods increase, offset will continue to create a range that extends above the start of the data, running into the top of the worksheet and returning an error. For example, change the number of days to 3. A pound ref error is returned. To solve this problem, you can use the min function to restrict the height passed into offset and sequence function. Use this formula. The first value in the min function is the relative row number in the range. The second value is the number of days. When the relative row number is less than number of days, min returns the relative row number to offset for height. When the row number is greater than number of days, min returns number of days. When number of days is 3, in the first row, in the range, the relative row number is 1, which is less than 3, so 1 is returned. From fourth row, 3 is returned as number of days is less than relative row number. Use this formula to calculate WMA. Use min function to pass height to offset. Copy the formula up. No reference errors are returned. If it is important that the average be calculated only if it has sufficient data, you can use an if statement to indicate insufficient data. If the reference row number is less than the number of days, return NA, else calculate the weighted moving average. Use this formula, change the number of days. Notice the values returned by the three formulas. The first formula returns pound ref error. Second calculates the weighted moving average with fewer values for the first few rows. The third formula returns NA value if there is insufficient data. Exponential moving average EMA is a form of weighted moving average which assumes that more current data points are more important since they are more relevant than older data points. The weights are distributed exponentially. Exponential moving average gives higher weight to the latest value and the weights keep on getting lower exponentially for earlier values. This is the generic formula. The coefficient alpha, a constant smoothing factor between 0 and 1 can be calculated using this formula. Alpha is equal to 2 by n plus 1. Where n is the number of data points in a period for which the moving average is calculated. You can use simple moving average when calculating the first EMA since there will not be a previous value. The first step is to find the alpha value. To calculate a 3 point EMA, enter 3 in G3. Use this formula to calculate smoothing factor. Since the period includes 3 points, we need the average of the first 3 values. For the third day, calculate the average using this formula. Use the EMA formula from the fourth day. Use this formula, C4 is the previous EMA, G4 is the alpha value, B5 is the latest value. Use absolute reference for alpha and relative reference for other values. Copy the formula down. To calculate the moving average for variable periods, use this formula. Use offset to create dynamic array for calculating simple moving average for the first EMA. Copy the formula down. EMA are calculated for other days. Change the period to 5. Moving averages in column C are not correct. Because we need to change the formulas for the first EMA when periods change. Change the formula for day 5 as it is the first EMA. Clear the values in first 4 days. Moving averages are calculated correctly in column D without changing anything. Create a chart to see a visual representation of the actual temperature versus weighted moving averages. Select the data that you want to include in the chart. On the insert tab in the charts group, click on the insert line icon and choose the first chart type 2D line. The lines representing weighted moving averages are relatively smoother with the fewer fluctuations. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.